Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing everything that I picked up during the Play-Doh's Closet 50% off sale. Uh, so yeah, if you're new here, my name is Allie and I'm a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Those are like my main three. Um, but then I also list some things on Depop, Curtsy, Kittison, um, as well as like sending, sending things into ThreadUp or taking things to buy, sell trade stores. Uh, so yeah, if you do enjoy reseller related content, uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already ready if you want to see more content like this um but yeah this channel is called posh athletica because that's the name of one of my poshmark closets and that used to be like my main uh reselling account um but i have since graduated from university so i'm kind of like expanding into selling like more like non-active wear things um so yeah, I did pick up a few activewear things, but also like a lot of non-activewear things. I didn't get too many things just because this Plato's closet that I went to, it's not the one that I normally sell to and their prices are really high. So even for like 50% off, sometimes it's like not even that good of a deal. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I'll start with like the few activewear things I got. Um, the first thing was quite a surprise because they're these like zipper leggings um, and they're actually from Aloe. And you can kind of tell, like I could kind of tell by the style that these were like a newer um, style, but there was no like, there's no size tag or like material tag or anything in here. But I was like so surprised because Play-Doh's only marked these at $16. So like I paid $8 for them, but normally like their Aloe, Lululemon, Athleta, like they started at $40. So like I came across a lot of like, you know, half price Lululemon and stuff, but like I didn't want to pay like at least $20 for it. So um yeah, I passed on all that stuff, but I thought that was like pretty good deal um so yeah a lot of this stuff though you kind of have to be careful because like you know obviously the stuff that's on clearance it's because no one has bought it for like a while so a lot of times there's a reason for that whether it be like it's a flawed item or it's like ugly or it's just like a cheap brand um but yeah so like i did try to look at everything over like pretty well uh just make sure there were no flaws um but yeah, the next thing I got, it's just this pretty like, basic bra, but it is new with tags and they wanted $25 for it. So like I did pay like, you know, quite a lot for it, um, you know, $12.50 for it, but it is new with tags we wore what, um, which, you know, there's a lot of, she's like a blogger. There's a lot of like controversy surrounded, surrounding her. Uh, but I feel like if people like don't want to support her by like buying this stuff, from her website like they could always just like buy it on the second hand market so that way like they're not directly supporting her you know and i have i've sold the matching leggings before and they did really well they got a lot of attention and um they eventually sold for a really good amount so i think you know i'm fine with paying that price because like obviously it's new with tags my last piece did really well um but yeah the last piece of activewear i got are these leggings they're just black they have some pockets and they have mesh on the leg and they're from the brand Petula, which I really enjoy selling. Um, they have like, they're another one of those like, you know, um, just like um, really like trendy brands on like uh, Instagram and like social media. Um, they have a lot of like influencers who like they sponsor, so like they wear all their stuff. Um, but like Petula isn't like one of the like really crazy expensive brands, like they are relatively expensive but not like too, too crazy. So like, you're not, like I'm not necessarily able to sell them for like over $40, but it's always like a really quick sale. And these were priced at $14, so I paid $7 for them. So um, like I said, like Petula stuff has always sold really fast. So that's why I decided to pick it up, but that was actually all the activewear I found. So we'll move on to the non-activewear. The first thing I picked up is this Urban Outfitters dress. It's like a linen blend, it's strapless. It's like a midi length with one slit down the side. And um, they had this price at $16. So I did pay $8, which is like a bit steep, you know, for Urban Outfitters. But I just really liked the style and it was a linen blend. I thought it was just really nice. So I went ahead and picked it up. And you know, like I said, trying to like, um, just like stock up on like inventory. And like, I like listing kind of like younger brands in particular so like Plato's Closet is always like a great play place to like find those brands and so for the most part like I think a lot of the styles I got I'll also be listing on Curtsy which is you know another reselling app if you've never heard of it um 
but like the it's like the market is like geared towards like college aged girls so um yeah a lot of times I list like all my like Urban Outfitters like um Revolve brands do really well on their free people like Princess Polly O Polly so yeah, the next thing I got was another new with tags item. It's this denim skirt from Madewell. Like I said, new with tags, and they only had this priced at $12. So I gladly paid $6 for it. It's the rigid denim A-line skirt, size 32. So yeah, and then the next thing I got is this wrap dress um, from Superdown, which is a Revolve brand. And um, they had this price at $12, so I paid six dollars for it and i think why no one bought it is because like they didn't have it like tied properly like they like they didn't have it fully wrapped it was kind of just like open so i feel like you know that's <laughs> no one really wanted to buy that because um yeah so it's just like a nice dress honestly there's nothing like too special about it like super down um i feel like it's like one of the cheaper like quality wise revolve brands but like i said the stuff still does like really well for me so it's for like over $50 um, and it always like gets a lot of attention on curtsy so like I said Revolve brands will definitely be listing on curtsy same with brands like this this is Tiger Mist not gonna lie not quite sure how this dress goes it has some cutouts and like some twist detailing in it um, but this was only $10 so I paid $5 for it um, probably why no one wanted it is because it's kind of just a confusing dress so I'll have to see if I could find like a stock photo or something and see how it's supposed to be worn. But normally it's pretty easy to find stock photos for brands like that. Um, and then next up, these are a pair of faux leather pants. They're from Princess Polly and they are new with tags. Um, yeah, they are a size 16 and they had a priced at $14. So I paid $7 for them, but they are new with tags. And Princess Polly normally sells like extremely fast for me. So um, yeah, that was cool, new with tags. And then um, I came across a lot of Princess Polly like or like O Polly thing. So this is like another item. It's a red dress size four and they only had this priced at $8. So I paid $4 for it. Um, the style isn't like super trendy, but for like $4, I decided to pick it up. Just because, you know, like I said, the brand does really well for me. And then um, this is another Princess Polly dress. Um, it was priced at $11, so $5.50 for it. It's like a linen blend, I think. I don't know. It feels like linen, but it has like all these pom-poms on it and it like laces up the back. And so, yeah, the strings were like all twisted and stuff, like all messed up on the hanger so I'm thinking that's why no one bought it there didn't appear to be any stains all the pom-poms were there so I think it'll be good it also make like a nice like beach cover up maybe and um there were there were like a lot of like good jeans that I would have liked to pick up like maybe for like their 70 or of course 90 percent off sale the thing is like they're like American Eagle jeans like they price at at least 20 dollars like between 20 and 30 dollars so like I don't really want to pay like 10 or more dollars for them um even though there were there were a lot of really nice styles but I did pick up one pair of jeans also because like it's not really like we're heading into summer not really jean season but these were priced at $20 I did pay $10 for them just because I really liked the style they're like that baggy straight leg distress they're called the skater jean so I think these will sell fast um, because you know these are like a good pair of jeans to also wear during the summer because you know they're baggy distressed so um yeah it won't make you too hot and then I did get one pair of shorts like again their shorts are pretty expensive like in between like 14 to 20 dollars so like I don't really want to pay them like even like you know seven to ten dollars for shorts but I did get one pair of these American Eagle shorts um they were $14, so I did pay $7 for them, but I'm hoping they sell fast. They're size 14, and they're the mom short, and like, um, yeah, they don't have any distressing, which I thought maybe would be desirable, maybe not. They do have like this cuffed hem. I, I kind of need to iron it down in place, but yeah, and then the last thing I got, like I said, like a lot of stuff was just really expensive, so like maybe I'll go back during like the 70% off sale and see if there's like still any good things there um 
But last thing I got was this denim skirt with like this little thing on it. It was only $12, so I paid $6 for it. And it's actually new with tags from Karmar, um, which I've never actually sold myself. Normally I just take it to buy sell trade stores. Um, but like I said, new with tags for $188. So like that bra that they marked up at $25 because it was new with tags, but then they mark up, they didn't even mark up this skirt, even though it has $188 price tag on it. But yeah, it's a size 29. So um, yeah, we'll see. But I know like if I'm not able to sell this, then I could definitely take it to a buy sell trade store and even just make, I paid $6. So I think I would still make like a few bucks on it but um yeah that was my whole pretty short but hopefully you enjoyed and you could give this video a like if you did enjoy and of course subscribe if you haven't already um but yeah thanks so much for watching